Thank you. It's a great honor for me to present uh, in this meeting the result of the checkmate of the 57 trial. This randomized phase three trial compared nivolumab versus docetaxel in advanced non squamous non small cell lung cancer. Uh, lung cancer is a huge health problem. Actually, it's the leading cause of cancer related death. And every year, more than 1.8 million of new cases are diagnosed worldwide. Treatment opportunities are pretty limited, particularly in some contexts, such as for non-squamous, non-small cell lung cancer when they have failed platinum-based chemotherapy. In this context, typical response rate to the available agents, standard of care, such as the Staxel, is in the range of 10%, and expected survival between eight to 10 months. Nivolumab is a fully human, IgE4 type monoclonal antibody directed to the PD-1 receptor, the immune checkpoint PD-1 receptor. The drug has shown activity across different subtypes of non-small cell lung cancer in prior studies. Actually, very recently, the drug has been approved by the FDA for the treatment of advanced squamous cell carcinoma on the basis of a randomized three trial that would be also presented in this meeting. The sign of this study was very straightforward. All patients, all, I mean, all together, 582 patients were included, all with a stage three, four advanced non-squamous histology. Very importantly, that was an all common study. We did not select for PDL1 expression, all comers. All patients had good health, good PS, had failed prior platinum based chemotherapy, and may have or not received prior maintenance with approved drugs or TKI treatment in case of having an activating aberration of the EGFR or ALK uh, uh, signal and pathway. After the certification, patients were randomized on a one-to-one -one fashion to nivolumab, three milligrams per kilo every two weeks, or docetaxel at the standard dosing. The primary endpoint in this trial was overall survival. We look at some other secondary endpoints, response rate, particularly correlation between efficacy and uh, uh, between efficacy and PDL1 expression. Here are the main results of the trial. The checkmate of 57 trial met its primary endpoint, overall survival. Patients treated with nivolumab improved their overall survival as compared to patients treated with docetaxel. The hazard ratio was 0.73, which means a decrease in the risk of death all along the study period of 27%. In terms of median survival, there was an improvement of nearly three months for four patients treated with nivolumab as compared to those treated with docetaxel. The difference being 9.4 versus 12.2 months. Response rate was also improved for the patients treated with nivolumab, 19% versus 12%, and that was also clinically and statistically significant. Again, the duration of responses was much higher, much longer, with NIVO treatment as compared to docetaxel, 17.2 versus 5.6 months. Here is a very complicated but important slide. Actually, this slide shows that in this analysis, PDL1 expression seems to be a predictive factor for the benefit of nivolumab treatment. If you concentrate on the top three figures, those are referred to patients whose tumors are PDL1 positive, do have expression in the tumor of the PDL1 ligand. Actually, we have used three cut points to define positivity. 1% of the cells or more, 5% of the cells of more, or 10% of the cell or more. Looking at all three figures, you see that the survival benefit for nivolumab treatment were huge as compared to docetaxel. Actually, hazard ratio being between 0.59 and 
Indeed, the median survival on the nivolumab arm was actually unprecedented in this context, ranging from 17.2 months to 19.4 months. On the contrary, on PDL1 negative uh, tumors, those at the bottom of the slide, there were no survival difference between the treatment arms. Duration of the treatment was similar in the two treatment arms, about 12 weeks even. At the last follow-up, 15% of the patients were still on nevo, 0% on docetaxel. That's very important as well. Number of patients receiving subsequent therapy, 43% on the nevo arm as compared to 50%. So possibly survival in this study was not very much influenced by further treatment. Incidence of treatment-related adverse event and severity was clearly higher with docetaxel as compared to nivolumab. Number of patients having any adverse event, 69% versus 88. More importantly, 10% of the patients treated with nivo had grade three, four treatment-related adverse event versus 54% on the docetaxel arm. Serious adverse events, were reported in 7% of the patients with NIVO as compared to 20% with docetaxel. And also, consistently, number of patients that had to discontinue the drug due to, to the adverse events were 5% with NIVO, but 15% with docetaxel. Just to conclude, nivolumab is the first PD-1 inhibitor to significantly improve OS as compared to docetaxel in patients with prior treatment uh, and non-small cell lung cancer, non-squamous histology. Actually, as we observed, a 27% decrease in the risk of death all along the period of the study, an improvement of nearly three months in median survival. Response rate was also improved in this trial with the NIVO treatment. Importantly, Nivoluma, uh, PDL1 emerged as a clear predictor factor for the benefit from uh, a nivolumab treatment. Those patients treated with nivolumab, if they had PDL positive expression, survival was doubling the one of the uh, uh, standard arm docetaxel. Indeed, response rate was also improved. Patients with PDL uh, tumor with uh, uh, negative PDL1 expression did not benefit on the same rate from nivolumab treatment. Safety profile was also favorable for nivolumab as compared to, to docetaxel and was consistent with prior studies. And I think this is, that could be the second study reporting a superiority of nivolumab over docetaxel in the context of advanced non-small cell lung cancer. Thank you.